Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, it is Wednesday and I'm coming on because I'm making a what's for dinner. Excuse me guys, I just got up for a nap. It is 5 o'clock, I'm starting dinner at 5. Which I really wanted to have dinner ready by 5, but that ain't gonna happen. When I'm sleeping and everything else. So, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm making this... Um, mushroom um bow tie pasta dish okay what i'm gonna do is start out with onions i have to cut them up and garlic and get them in the pan with the sausage oh sausage too with the sausage and let that saute and cook and then i'll start adding the other ingredients but i have to clean it and cut the mushrooms first so i'm going to cut these onions up quick and the garlic these onions will not cooperate Sorry about the yawning, but and I slept an hour. Alright, let's get this. Ooh. Tuck your fingers in when you're cutting so you don't cut your fingers. guys comment down below what you guys are up to what you have for dinner today we had a, um, a little bit of a snowstorm it was like maybe three inches it stopped already but it's like that white fluffy snow you know the white um kind of wet the white wet like wet snow more on the grass than anything just made it made kind of like a mess on the roof all the schools were closed here you know, because it's New York, they close at the drop of the hat, too. But um, Jenny actually had program. She wasn't there for very long, like three hours. They went late and they came home early, so. But it was fine. So I'm going to cut these onions up. You guys can see. Let's move this, this way a little bit. There we go. Fairly small. I don't want them to disappear, but I don't want them huge slices. So yeah, so um, it's kind of crappy here, but I think it's supposed to be the temperature's supposed to go up again. It's been like a roller coaster, the, like the um, like the gas prices. <laughs> like the gas prices are crazy, guys. Look, we're paying almost five dollars now. Four seventy-five. I think you can get it, or four ninety-five. Yeah, crazy. So I'm gonna go get these. Put these in the pan, and I have the water up for the pasta because I'm making bow tie pasta. They call them farfalle. Farfalle, I think. Barfle and but they're all tied. So that's what I call um I, I checked out this with some recipes on Pinterest. I wanted to see what was going on because I just couldn't think of what to make and frankly I'm really sick of chicken. I have so much chicken in my freezer, it's not even funny. But I'm like, we're not having chicken. Last night we had um I made chicken low bean. Excuse me, and it has left over my gut. Still have that downstairs. Still have some of that, you know, a lot of that left. Um, and um, so I went to Pinterest looking for just some ideas, you know, and I saw this dish that looks so good. Of course, I'm tweaking it my own way, but I'm using the ingredient, basically the ingredients that that I think is delicious that they that they have, which is um, mushrooms. Um, garlic, spinach, um, and they didn't have sausage in the recipe, but I'm putting sausage in it because I, oh, I think they had chicken, but I didn't want chicken. Like they, so I chose sausage, so I'm baking ground sausage. What? Oh, okay, so I'm gonna put these in the frying pan and then I'll show you them. And I'm putting the onions and the garlic in. Oh, maybe I should put some olive oil in here. 
Hello. Olive oil, guys. I'll let this cook a minute and then I'm going to uh, put the sausage in it. I'm going to start cleaning up the meatball, the meatballs, the mushrooms. Okay, guys, funny thing. Let me just do one thing. Sorry. A funny thing. My husband, I told him, can he, I asked him, can you put the flame on? The pan that I was going to put the mush, the, the onions and stuff in. He said, yeah, and then when I went over there, and nothing was, like it wasn't sizzling or anything. I just looked and he had the wrong flame on. He had the back flame on. So the, the flame was never even on the pan. Oh, hubbies. <laughs> All right, so I'm quickly just, these are kind of funky. So I'm cleaning them up. I don't mind a little bit of stuff, but these kind of don't look that great. So these have to be wiped down with dirt. So I'm just gonna do this quickly. I like buying the ones that are already sliced, but sometimes they're like a dollar, dollar fifty more than the ones that aren't. So, you know. With everything so expensive right now, we gotta save as much money as we can. If I have to slice some mushrooms, I'll slice some mushrooms. It's not the end of the world. But I do tell you that if they're cheap enough, I would buy the sliced ones most of the time because it's just, you know, it's less work. So now I hear it sizzling. So I'm gonna let that sizzle a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna put the sausage in because I don't want the garlic burning. I usually don't put the garlic in right away, but I don't know why I just did, so it's in there. So I just don't want it to get all crispy. I have to watch it closely. So I'm just gonna clean up these mushrooms, slice them up. What I do is I take a damp, um, little damp paper towel and just wipe it like this. So guys, I went to the endocrinologist and I found out my A1C was high again. It was 9.12 or something, which I knew it was going to be high. And um, she told me, and in fact, it was funny because as we were leaving, before we left, I said to her, oh, you know, how's my kidney functions? Because I'm always nervous about my kidney function because of the diabetes and I'm so afraid something's gonna happen with my kidneys and you know because it's diabetes affects your kidneys so bad after such a long time having it and so my kidney function and liver function was all good but she did say that my vitamin D level was really 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 low so she gave me a, a strong vitamin D so but I'm like I'm realizing now that's why I've been so tired because my vitamin D levels are so low so there's my, there was my answer to my explanation, you know, that was my explanation. Okay guys, so I put the sausage in there. I'm gonna let the sausage saute a little bit and um, quickly get these mushrooms done. And then after the mushrooms are done, I mean after the, the um, sausage is, you know, fairly round, I'm gonna take it out and then put the mushrooms in, fry them up quick, and then we'll add it all back together. Uh, now this doesn't cause call for much sauce with this pasta. It calls for um, chicken broth or beef broth, um, and then really not much else. But I think I'm gonna, I might add a little of Alfredo sauce to it. I'm not really sure. I'm definitely gonna add some sort of a sauce because it needs some sort of salt. No, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be yummy though. I saw the mushrooms I was when I was passing through the things on Pinterest, and I was like, ooh, mushrooms, love mushrooms. Son doesn't, um, Jenny doesn't like them, and my son doesn't like them, but my son's having something else. He made this crock pot pasta meal, I'll show you. 
um, buffalo pasta or something. And Jennifer, um, I'm gonna say I don't know what Jennifer's gonna have. I just realized that she's not gonna really eat this. I might just make her, um, I'll have to give her something that I have in there. Because last night she had fettuccine. Um, she's not gonna, and she's not gonna eat this. So, I had chopped me, maybe make her a burger. She's such a, she's really a pain in the booty though. She's very, very like, lately she's just, she just wants what she wants. And I'll say to her, she's she'll be like, what are we having for dinner? I'm like, I'm having chicken. Oh my God, chicken again? <laughs> she'll say, you know what I really want? And I'm like, what? She's like, Chinese food. You know what I really want? I'm like, what? And she's like, Wendy's. <laughs> you know what I really want? I'll say what? And she'll say, salmon. I'm like, are you crazy? What do you think this is? Longhorn Steakhouse? <laughs> or Red Lobster? She loves salmon, guys. I could tell you that I would think salmon is probably her, her favorite food in the whole wide world. Salmon and few other things she likes really 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 likes um, she tells me when I move out when I move to, move to a group home when I live by myself or whatever she says, this is what I'm gonna have I'm gonna have um, oh broccoli and cheese she's gonna go to the store I'm gonna buy all these things broccoli and cheese I want to have all the time salmon um, <laughs> All this other stuff. Oh, God help me. God help me. All right, I got to go do these quick and then mix those. Mix those up. I got one more. Clean. I take like, took like three of them because, let me get rid of that end. Because um, the paper towel gets dirty very quickly, as you can see. These mushrooms are really, really dirty. They have a lot of dirt on them. And I mean, I could rinse them. They say not, you know, they say not to rinse them because they become waterlogged and everything, but I don't need to do, I don't need to do that. Just wipe them off. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect, but I want most, yeah, I want the dirt off. I don't want to be eating dirt. So yeah, these needed to be, sometimes you get them and they're very clean. They, and they just need a little tap. They don't even need any, any wiping. But this time, that's not the case. Okay, so I'm gonna take this thing, put it in the garbage, put it in here. I'm gonna go over and um, mix up the sausage. I'll bring this with me, so you can see. I left them fairly. I didn't chop, I chopped them, but not too, too much. I don't want them huge, but I don't want them really small either. I want to be able to see the sausage and taste the sausage. So yeah, I think what I'm probably gonna just do is just leave the, I think I'll just leave the, um, the sausage in here when I put the mushrooms in there. See, these are, see that guy, see that brown on there? That's what I'm looking for. Oh, I love that. That means flavor. Who always says that? Um, if you watch Ann Burrell, she does worse cooks and all that on the Food Network. She always says, brown food is flavor. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this water's starting to boil. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put the pasta in one minute first. I wanna, uh, start cutting the mushrooms out. All right, guys. Let's get cutting up. That's cooking good. I'm going to cut these mushrooms and then put them in the pond. <sighs> Sorry. Kind of mushrooms all over the place. Um, yes, I got to figure out what I'm going to make. What I'm going to make for Jen. I don't even think I can make her. Um fettuccine because she had that last night. I don't even know if I have any sour cream. I have to check that. Let's see. Maybe that's a shell. She don't care. She eats that every single night. She loves fettuccine. I'm just giving 
going to need a rough top. I'm going to go shut that flame off because I don't want the burnt the sausage and the onions and everything to burn while I cut up these mushrooms. Do that. Yeah, so, um, I don't know what I was talking about, but that's why I've been so tired. My vitamin D levels is really low. Years ago, probably about four or five years ago, it was so low that I had to get those infusions, like, for like six weeks or something. That was annoying. But, um, so she gave me a really strong, um, vitamin D or whatever, so hopefully it'll take care of it. But, um, yeah, I feel like that, I feel like a tired, almost like, I don't know, if you're a diabetic, you know, like if you get it, if you get a low when you're diabetic, it literally feels like you just want to sleep. Like you don't want to do anything else. It just, like you can't keep your eyes open. Like I can't even describe the feeling of it. It's weird. But, um, that's almost how I feel. Like I didn't, I checked my sugars because I didn't, I didn't feel right. And whenever I don't feel right, I know it's either my sugar's high or my sugar's low. And um, so I checked it and I was, I was sleeping and I was trying to get up and like I couldn't really get myself up. I was like, oh, really was hard. So I took my sugar and it was a little bit high. It wasn't low. So um, usually if it's really high, like I'll take a bolus, which means that I will give myself an insulin shot um, just without eating because I take, I, I take my insulin shots um, when I eat. And then I have a long acting insulin that, that I take. Um, so, but, but I didn't. I'm going to check it before I um, eat and then I'll take the insulin accordingly. Can't wait, guys, to not have to do this insulin anymore. I said to the doctor yesterday, I said, you know what? I'd be happy going just to pills. When I first, when I, when I first was diagnosed with diabetes and it was you know, manageable in the pill way and the, and the eating and the, and the what you ate way. I didn't know how good I had it. I didn't know how good I had it. So, I'm just um, really excited about losing all this weight and getting this down so I don't have to take deal with all this insulin anymore because, frankly, I hate it. I don't like it. All right, so I'm going to go over there and put the mushrooms in. I put the garlic in, and um, we'll get it going. I'm going to put the pasta in the water because the water is boiling now. So I um, created a little well kind of in here. See? In the circle there. Putting just a little bit more of olive oil because it was all kind of eaten up. And I'm going to put the mushrooms in here. It's on a pretty high heat. Because I want the mushrooms to get kind of brown. There's a lot of mushrooms, so it ain't going to happen so easily. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to leave these in here. Just push them down a little bit. cook a little while before I start moving them around. Okay, guys, so I just put a little bit more minced garlic in here because I had the fresh garlic. I wanted to get a little bit of that oil in here. So I'm going to season it. I'm going to put some pepper. Now I'm putting it on the lowest flame now. Wait, is that low or high? That's low. Putting it on the lowest flame because after I season it, I'm going to let it simmer a couple of minutes and then I'm going to shut it and, and wait. So this is garlic powder. I have a lot of fresh garlic in here, so I'm not going to go crazy with the garlic powder. Mm. I got some onion powder. Not putting salt in it. There's some parsley. So I'm going to put some of the, um, the dash. Okay. And let's see. I have to get my... Um, my basil, I forgot to get basil the other day at the store. Been to the store a couple of times and forgot. Some Italian seasoning. 
I'm going to put this at the end too. And as I'm doing, um, mixing, sauteing, I'm, I'm scraping the pan because all that stuff on the bottom of the pan is flavor. Mmm, smells so good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a half a stick of butter and put that in here and, and shut, shut it off and let it, um, let it just sit and I have the pasta boiling right here. All right, guys, so the pasta's done. I'm going to um, drain it. Uh, I want to see a little bit of this pasta water. Or I'm going to pour it. I'll show you. I'm going to pour some of this pasta water in this cup here, in this bowl. It's so good to thicken up sauce, guys, and add to help make a sauce. So, ow. So that's what I'm doing. Try not to burn your hand while you do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the pasta in here. Give this a mix. Now, hmm, I have a little bit of a dilemma, and I think it will be okay. What I'm going to do is I didn't have the flame one. Now I have the flame one. I'm going to put a little bit more of that. I'm going to put the rest of it. Yeah. I'm going to season it a little bit. Now, pepper. I'm going to wait for that. A little bit more onion powder. Tiny bit more garlic powder. Um... I'm gonna put some parsley. Oh, these are bay leaves. Oh, this is this is parsley. I'm gonna put a little bit of fresh basil and fresh parsley in, guys. So I have a little bit over here. Um, I'm looking for the bay leaves. Here they are. Some bay leaves. I gotta start adding, um, you know, liquid to this now, but. First, what I want to do is I want to put the spinach in here and let the spinach cook down. Oh, also, honey, do we have grated cheese filled? I need grated cheese. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put um, the spinach in. See, the spinach is going to wilt, so it's looking to look like a lot of spinach, but it really isn't. So I'm going to let this put half the bag in and then cover it and let it wilt down and then I'll put the other half of the bag in. Um, but I'm going to switch it to this flame over here because that flame is too high and I don't want it to burn. Yeah, do you have a container? Um, it should be underneath. Cooper, you better not be doing anything bad. I don't see the other container. Guys, you know what we do? We, oh, here it is. We buy this. Let me show them. We buy this. 
It's four ninety nine. Well, it used to be four ninety nine, and the and the bag was bigger. Now at my local shop, right, it's it went to it went to five forty nine, a dollar more, and it's less. So this is what we buy because we like it, and then we fill the um, get down, get down. and then we fill we oh. fill um, these containers that we have with it. It's just a cheaper way to do it, and so much better. So that's what you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna let this simmer a couple. Just let this spinach wheel down. Add the other the spinach, and then I'll come back and show you guys. So something new here. I'm moving this into here because it's not big enough, and I don't have the patience to sit here and wait. I should have used this pan from the get-go, but you know, what are you gonna do? All right, so let's switch all this in here. The gecko or gecko? Gecko. Talking about. You say gecko or gecko? Oh. Uh, That'd be funny one. Uh. Yeah, see, it was sticking already. I don't want to lose all that flavor in here. All the water? Oh, yeah. Burn me? Oh, you picked that up. It's olive oil. I don't want it to... So I added a little water to this pot so I could oh. scrape some of those goodness off, guys. Because that's all freaking flavor. Right, put the goodness in here. <laughs> Alright. He's calling me Emerald. No, I'm Mrs. Emerald. Ow. Mrs. Emerald. Alright, so I'm gonna take it off of here and put it back onto this flame. Because it's big enough where you can leave that like that. Alright, so let's put the other thing of spinach in. Let it wilt. And then We'll come back to it. I have my my pasta water and my other stuff I'm going to put in it. It's going to be yummy. All right, it's wilting down. I'm putting some grated cheese in it. Um, a half a stick of butter. What do you need? Put stuff to work. Now you gotta give me one second, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna really do this. Put the butter in there. Why is that fine for you? I forgot that I wanted to get it, but I couldn't do it that Mix it up with the butter. Spinach wilts fairly quickly, guys. I'll do it quickly, too. You want the garlic? No, I want to keep it. Huh? No, I want to keep garbage. Garlic? Ah, uh, yeah. I think you said you told them to garbage. All right, a little more green cheese. Over there. From the wire. Um, this is the thing. Now, guys, it's pasta. I'm trying to watch my carbs, but I don't know. I'm gonna have a little bit and a little bit of ham steak. I think that I'm making Jen. So this has to be a side dish for me, not a, can't be a full dish, it has to be a side dish. But what else is now? I hate it. All right. Let's put Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning. I'm gonna lower this, and then I'm gonna put this in. Are you gonna make it cheesy? Cheesy right now. No cheesy, huh? I said it's cheesy already. I'm cheesy.
putting some of this in. So good, guys. So, so good. I'm going to taste it. Taste the sauce and see what I think. Mm. Guys, that's so yummy. So, so yummy. Guys, so here's my, my plate. I have a little bit of the pasta. So probably all I'm gonna have, because like I said, it has to be limited. Um, the pasta has to be limited. So that's it, guys. This is what's for dinner tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit all those buttons on the bottom with the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload. All right, guys, see you on the next video. Bye.